course, KTSM 9 News is your local election headquarters. Early voting is now underway and election day is set for November 7th. Because of that, we're taking a look now at some additional candidates running for Las Cruces mayor. It all comes as Mayor Ken Miyagashima says he will be stepping down as mayor after serving in that position for the past 16 years. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has more on some of the candidates. I, I've just been proven I have the qualifications. Former Las Cruces Fire Chief and Assistant City Manager Eric Enriquez coming out of retirement to run for mayor. So my background in public safety is first and foremost to make our city safe. That, that would be the first thing. And then we'd open it up with economic development, job creations, better health care and quality of life for our for our citizens in this community. The city should not have gotten to the point that it's in. Las Cruces businesswoman Mariah Hernandez has experience in real estate, describing herself as a rancher's daughter, running for mayor, wanting to focus on crime and homelessness. So let's create ordinances that have consequences, because without consequences, these people are not going to change. We need to have consequences that have jail time, that have fines, and we can go from there which is sort of the natural next step for me. Las Cruces City Councilor for District 1 and Mayor Pro Tem Cassandra Gondara throwing her hat in the ring as well. I have a health, healthy Las Cruces platform. I want to focus on three areas. That is continued um, steady economic growth, uh, quality of life, and sustainability. And our thanks to Shelby Cap as always for her reporting. In the meantime, the other four people running for mayor there include Alexander Baca Fresquez, Eugenia Montoya Ortega, Isabella Solis, and Mike Tellez. We have more on all the candidates on our website. As always, that's KTSM.com.